Specialist Navy divers try to assess the state of the sinking ship, the Express Pearl. But heavy rains, wind, poor visibility and two-meter sea swells make that impossible. Authorities are racing to prevent further environment damage in the event of an oil spill. With the nature of the fire which took place on board, the experts who came, they are of the view that the oil would have burned, but we're not confirming, we're not saying 100% that there is no oil. And worst case scenario, there may be some. The impact of over 300 tons of oil, chemicals and hazardous material leaking into the sea would be disastrous for the environment. Because this is a very ecologically sensitive area. There is the lagoon and there is also the Kalani River, which is also the drinking water supply for Colombia. Millions of plastic beads from the ship have already fouled the ocean and dozens of kilometers of Sri Lanka's coastline. Environmentalists are warning of long-lasting and dire consequences. The long-term concern is as the plastics break up, uh, if they can't remove them from the beach or from the sea, is in fact it will in, uh, impact on the food chain right from uh, phytoplankton and zooplankton and the actual uh, larvae of many marine species that form the basis of the whole food chain in the sea. And from there, concentration can occur. Um, the disaster has actually been going on probably for a lot longer than people realise in decades. Um, this is just a long line uh, of problems that have occurred as we have used plastics, very durable plastics. The stern of the Express Pearl has hit the seabed and the vessel is sinking. If the country's worst ecological disaster is not bad enough, Heavy rains and strong winds, like you can see around me, have scuppered all efforts to inspect the sinking ship. With every minute counting, in taking action to minimize further damage, the weather is not helping at all. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.